So it's dangerously cold. Just stay outside and watch for ice out in your neighborhood and on any of these main roadways. Reporting live in Clarksville, Julia Palazzo, News 2. All right. I'm sure she meant stay inside. Yes. Okay. Uh, Jerry Barler's in the news to first alert. Did I say you outside? Yes, you should stay outside. <laughs> I said outside? <laughs> no! Yes, yes, you did. I stepped outside and it is kind of spitty. I don't even know if that's a real word, but <laughs> yeah, you go outside and nature's yucky. just kind of. Yeah, that's you know, what it's doing. Covety out there. Oh. All right, hey, guess what? It's going to be really nice this afternoon, I promise you. And you don't need the winter coat when you step out the door. That's something to get excited about that. <laughs> They're both laughing at me over there. It's not yeah. covid -y. It's just kind of yicky. It's yicky. Meantime, an area school is recovering from flood damage that happened overnight. And Chelsea Johnson is live with when officials say students should be able to return to school. Chelsea. The university announcing Monday the new requirements for students planning on being back on campus beginning next Monday. Well, Jen, West Branch Elementary School closed at 10 o'clock this morning because of flood damage. I can tell you we've got a really busy morning out there on the expressways because our travel times are very high. Somebody's ringing my bell. The dogs are barking. <laughs> and it's all going crazy out there. Flawless. Stop, stop, stop. Let me tell you what's happening on the expressways. We've got very heavy delays on the Stevenson because of a couple things going on, a water main break at Pulaski. Some other activities they do at Green Country Village include flight simulators, World War II, no, Wii bowling, which looks a lot like World War II, it just saying, uh -huh. and even some temporary tattoos. Watt says it's all about bringing joy to the residents and reaching their lives any way they can. The Wii, it's the Nintendo. Yeah, it is Not fun. to be confused with World War II. Never. Very no. different. No one would do that. Voice returns Monday at 8 p.m., followed by the premiere of the new drama, Debris. You can catch Nick Jonas as the host and musical guest this weekend on Saturday Night Live. Nick what's, Jonas? What's Debris? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds terrible. Hollywood's award season, I'm sure it's great, gets underway. And Sunday night, you can watch the Golden Globe Awards here on KC24, honoring the year's best in TV and movies. Oh, Debris, I want to watch that. <laughs> sounds amazing. Und wieder ist gut die Beste. Die Schweizerin holt zum zweiten Mal WM Gold. Und das ist nicht nur für sie ein Grund zum Strahlen. Und hier sollte ein Bild von Lara gut sein. Wie sie strahlt, leider ist das im Moment noch nicht abrufbar. Aber vielleicht haben wir die technischen Probleme im Laufe der Sendung dann im Griff. Aber es ist eben auch ein Grund zum Strahlen für die ganze Skination Schweiz. Denn mit ihrem Titel heute ging für die Schweizer Athletinnen eine lange, lange Durststrecke im Riesensalon zu Ende. Thank you, Anthony. All right, everybody take a listen to this. So we all know tigers roar. Uh, uh, this one is defective. An eight-month-old old tiger in a Russian zoo known for its almost musical cries. It's not quite a roar, not quite a meow either. This zoo says, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. The young tiger has been making these singing sounds ever since he was a little cub, and we just, we just love him. Have a good night. Taking care of yourself may have fallen to the wayside. Just like my timing has. <laughs> da, 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 da. So coming up. It's a Friday. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's my cue. All right, coming up. <laughs> We're showing. Uh, I forgot what's coming up. We're talking about taking care of yourself. I know it's fallen to the wayside perhaps during the pandemic. So our friends over at Better Home and Gardens will show us some things to try to show yourself some love. <laughs> Say you were taking care of yourself elsewhere, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Meditation, you know, a little me time. Sometimes it falls in the show. Oh, well. How about uh, a Monday fun day for our birthday club? Taylor Falk, 24. Happy birthday to you. And Josh Cook from our very own staff here. He's our director Woo! on the morning show, 5 a.m. hour. One of our favorites and uh, deadpan. He's a big fan of that. So Deadpool. looking good in your costume. Deadpool, not deadpan. <laughs> what did I Sorry, guys. I'm super lame. My bad. Dead, what, uh, Deadpool. Oh, I called babe. it Dead Spin earlier, but that's a website. So anyways, <laughs> I've, I just failed, Josh, big time. Deadpool. 
And if you're newly out of love this year, you can score some free wings on Valentine's Day. Check this out. Hooters is bringing back its Shred Your Ex promotion. So basically, you destroy a photo of your ex and you get 10 free boneless wings when you buy 10 wings. You can even shred virtually on the restaurant's website and get a wings coupon. Hooters says it wants to break last year's record of destroying 49,000 photos. My goodness, anything for... Anything for wings, Matt. Look at you. Was I supposed to wait until I got there, or I think I messed that part up? Just a little oh, detail, man. maybe. This is great. I love Valentine's <laughs> Day this year. Hooters. Good morning to you, Christina. Good morning. How are you? Oh, we're, we're doing Good. well. A little nervous about this I quiz. I know. We hear that you have a quiz for us. Can you hear us? Oh, 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 let's oh. see. Did we, we did we freeze? Did we lose our connection? Oh, she's frozen. We're frozen. Oh okay. no. And I don't. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll, maybe we'll try back. to check in with her. Yeah. Later. Oh, I think I. Wait. I hear something. Are we can we can tap dance for a minute if we think we have her in back. our uncomfortable shoes. In our in our heel boots. <laughs> Clearly, we need to talk this to good feet. This is not a good tap dance. <laughs> I'll do a dab. Oh boy. Oh okay. boy. She's oh, frozen. Okay. okay. We'll All try. right. We'll, we'll, we'll move on. Can... Sledding, finally. Now, if you're in Virginia right now and you told your kids before bed, hey, it's going to snow. There might not be school tomorrow. You might be able to sled. I hope you have extra paper towels because you might be waking up and wiping off all that egg on your face. But here in Clarksburg, this is one of the best sledding hills around. So I've got my sled. We're going to test it out. I mean, look at this. We've got a good inch of snow on the ground. We could have a couple more. I'm going to take off. Leslie, back to you. I'm live in Clarksburg. Oh! Oh! This might have been a mistake. The marathoner. Oh! Oh! Did, he, oh, did he wipe out? Oh, no. We're good. Man down. Man down. All right, we'll check back in with you later, Adam. Ouch. That's going to hurt. Newton Creek <laughs> Wastewater Resource Recovery Facility in Brooklyn is hosting special Valentine's Day tours. The tours include a view from the plant's 120-foot-high observation deck, which gives visitors a scenic view of the New York City skyline. The tours have already sold out. I just, I don't get it. Hopefully, you know, these couples are going into this because it's an experience and not because it reminds them of their own relationship. Oh, I didn't even look at it that way. Yeah. At least the view's pretty at the end, though. Hopefully. Maybe it's a metaphor. You've got to work through some stuff before, whatever, we're looking into this too much. We're reaching a little too far. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> One glimpse at this treat, we went from sewage plant to treats. <laughs> oh. That's a hard pivot. We'll continue. <laughs> One look at this treat, and your Valentine will think you spent a bundle ordering a go gourmet dessert. <laughs> And finally tonight, for years, scientists have been wondering why wombat poop is cube-shaped, and now they think they have the answer. The marsupial found in Australia and Tasmania is renowned for having cube-shaped poop. Turns out that the wombat intestine dries and squeezes it into its distinctive shape, including well-formed edges. It is thought that the ability to create cubes in a soft tube may mean future developments for manufacturing. So in the animal world, this makes the wombat <laughs> number one and number two. That is all the time we have for <laughs> From all of us here at CTV News, thank you for watching and have a good night. <laughs> Pennsylvania, they can have six more weeks of winter, and Witty could tell us that we're in the clear. Right, because so, they're uh, in a different region of the country. That's right. Uh, look, uh, she's oh, going back. Oh, oh, One last check. Oh, I'm no. I'm thinking no shadow, right? That looks like no shadow to oh, me. Oh, and they're closing the little door. That's right, because we don't want her coming out changing her mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's saying no shadow. <laughs> oh, no. Here so comes amazing. spring. Wow. Man, that was that was dramatic. That's that's the most sus suspenseful TV since uh, the OJ chase, huh? <laughs> that's the Bronco. Right. Yeah. Boy, right back in. So what, okay, what does that mean? We got. Uh, I don't even know what that means. Are we back to, to winter or early spring? <laughs> that vase before my mother passed. <laughs> John, John, what? I'm sorry. Your timing is you horrific. You did not do your homework. Your timing is horrific. <laughs> My goodness. Yes. yes, John, tell us about your mother passing. Sorry.
Okay. Oh, do not, you cannot do the laugh fit when we're not all together in no. the same room. Let, I know that. Okay. All right. John? Before my mom passed. Sh <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible segue. This is that awful. Is the worst. This is awful. It's very sad. Oh it is very sad. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm glad we're not. Oh, God.